Hi folks, welcome back to Tony Creates and tonight or today we're dealing with the dilemma of the cover that's too small. As you can see it's the papers are quarter inch. I mean what probably not as it's probably not as bad as what I think it is but we need to make a bigger cover. I want to make a bigger cover so this is the envelope I used for the last cover the size so I've got a bigger envelope and we don't need to make the height any bigger because the height's fine uh, so I just cut off this an inch it's exactly an inch I cut off this envelope so that we don't need so we've got we've got about an extra inch now which will be about half an inch on either side so what I want to do is I just want to just stick a bit of glue down there I was going to put some double sided tape until I realized I might be sewing over the top of this so just to keep my options open because at this stage the only the only idea I have for this cover is that I got some nice I had to go by my material I'm sorry but I didn't have the right one here of the four crates of material I have <laughs> I didn't have the right one anyway so I went to my local shop and they had a lovely a lovely um a rose let me show let me show you this one which just just speaks lewd to me and it's got a wee little bit of blue here on the flower so this is this is going to be the new cover I'm delighted with it so I've got I've got this and I'm going to stick some batting this is just normal no fancy batting or what uh, that's what I I call it that's what as a sewer I grew up calling it so I'm not sure if there's any other names for it so now I'm going to be using my uh, my toxic stuff but this stuff sticks but um, the smell on it is I was going to use my finger but I thought I didn't want my finger to drop off so I've just got a brush here so I'm just it's a bit difficult to stick this um, the the batting down because it's porous so it, it's kind of grabs where it feels like grabbing and sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't so I just and I'm trying not to get my sleeves in the glue uh, not that, just, uh, I need to I need to get a this is your crafting outfit do not wear any other clothes <laughs> while crafting because maybe people are used to seeing me with bits of string hang, hanging off my clothes and whatnot okay so we got this to all the corners so I'm going to in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just wiping my brush off on the batting there and then I'm going to stick this down I'm going to try and sort out my sleeves quickly <laughs> okay I'm going to go off camera and I'm just going to trim this because it's just be easy if I just flip this over and, and I'm just going to trim this to the size of the envelope and clean up my thing so you, you don't need to be seeing that you know what that looks like okay so I've trimmed that down and now I've cut two pieces I just want to make sure I get the right piece I cut two pieces one for the, the front and one for the inside but I'm not I'm kind of debating I think the the outside one I'm going to I don't think this is the right piece but anyway um, bring this in or would, it would be this way around if I bring this in like that I just want to see well I'll, let me do it this way and then we can decide whether we're going to do the inside with card our design our mint tape paper so just do that that over there so let us do I think um, I just want to 
I should have actually um, what am I called this bone with the bone bone folder. So this envelope is in 12, 13 and a half inches. 12, 13 and three quarters. Let me double check that. One. Do it this way. So we're going to do one side first. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my tacky glue because um, this glue is a bit stinky and I don't like it. And I've got this Hobbycraft tacky glue. I'm going to try this one. See where we're going up to. We're going up to there. Okay. And just give it a thing. And then I'm going to take my finger and smush it so it's kind of even so that we don't have like splotches of glue because this glue is gonna bleed through okay so you down there okay and then we're gonna take you around okay and we're gonna make sure you're nice and firm there okay that's good let me just make sure I'm in shot here and I see my camera is listing it's probably had a couple of drinks there we go okay so now I'm going to measure up again measure up again and go From there, glue on <coughs> and smoosh down. Make sure it's even. And now I'm going to bring this down, make sure we're nice and firm and get you up. Okay. That's fine. He'll, the paper will. I've taken it round the side there, making sure everything's straight. Our side straight. Oh, it feels like a duvet. Right now, how are we going to do this? We're going to go like that, and then bring this up. Is that going to give us a nice corner? No, that's not do it this way I'm going to bring this in and up and that's going to give us a nice corner I just want to see from this side see well actually you won't I'm just looking to see if you hold it up like that if you look can you see your fold coming up this way because that doesn't look nice that corner is a bit sharp um, I'm just pulling this up and seeing if I do an army corner like my mom taught me. Sorry, I'm just faffing you. I should have done thought this through beforehand. No, we'll just do it the other way. <coughs> just make sure this glue still wet. And we've got some bleed through up here. Okay, bone folder, it's gone. Right, so when I, when I pull this up, I'm going to make sure that this one I've pulled a little bit to this side. So it's not coming down square like that. It's coming down. You can see it's a little bit to the side. Okay, and we're gonna go up again and let's get our glue down and I'm gonna put a little bit of a 
screw this flap down and I'm just gonna go like that the great thing about doing a fabric cover is that your spine is very strong because it's got the fabric it's got the envelope and it's got the batting all supporting it so you don't really have to worry about putting something down the middle there right this one let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing <coughs> again pulling it just and give it a little finger iron there in you go put my finger in there stick this flap down I must say I quite like this glue it really stick eh okay and oops smush smush okay and we're gonna pull you up make sure you're nice and straight there we go I'm going to pull my, my material over a bit it seems to be sticking out there spend time on this because there's, it's nothing more annoying than looking at a journal when it's a corner not sitting like you like it um, so there we go some more glue right so you got the gist I'm going to finish this side and stick down all the bits that are sticking up and get the mint tape paper so we can decide if we're going to put fabric down or we're going to put some more card down okay folks I finished this I decided to pull the corners in like that so I've I've mitered the corners and um because the glue is seeping through like this, I've decided I'm not going to, I just, I thought this, this fabric is so pretty and it just gives a, a special feel when everything's fabric, so it's because I didn't want to put some more card on. So I've cut this piece bigger than what I need. I'm just going to get, use some of this just to, just to keep the material in place. We don't want it shifting. And I'm going to leave it bigger because I, I want to sew on the because sometimes my sewing machine likes me and sometimes it doesn't so I want the top stitches to be on this side so I can see where I'm sewing and then I want to trim down this but I want to have it so we can we can ruffle it out and have a bit of texture going now which is going to be the top, the front. Is this directional? I think I'm going to make that the front. And then, so now what I have here is a piece of that lace, that linen, that Irish linen that I got. And I've just cut it a piece off, not very straight, I might add. So I want to put it on here. So this bit of lace will, I'm going to leave it like this as well so we can trim afterwards and I can faff with it. But for now, we want to get the sewing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my clips. Because I'm going to be technically sewing upside down, you need to know where your lacy bit starts so I'm gonna clip it so that I know that's where my lace starts and I'm just gonna do that keep that in place so that when I get to that I can stop my machine I just want to tuck this over so I can see if this is straight so when I get to that section I can know that I need to be careful and I need to make sure that the fabric's going under my needle straight. Um, so I can't. I mean, technically, I'll see this one here because it sticks out already. So I'm just going to 
clip this on here so it doesn't move right so i'm going to start sewing from the bottom corner and it looks like my corner has moved here yeah? and then i shall get back to you and then we can quickly decorate the front of the cover okie dokie so we got the sewing done um and what i did is my, my machine has got this setting where you can like do an, a knot before you start sewing so i just randomly took a bit of gyrating to get the pocket down is made these knots so now it looks like it's been quilted without it being quilted and i've left all the strings on because this is a junk journal and i just want to show you how i cut i just cut the sides down i just took the outside took it and i just just pulled my like tore but this cotton's quite thin so and my scissors is very sharp and i just ripped it like that nothing fancy and now what i'm doing is i'm just distressing i keep it successively long i'll pull them off and just i just want that that bit of a a ruffle and a i don't want it to look how can i say all neat and tidy because it's supposed to be a junk journal not a fabricated made in china journal so we're just gonna go like that don't want to go and rip the whole thing off but just give it a little bit of a, a, a thing the the linen's a bit more i might need to just put a wee line of glue down there but i won't torture you with that tonight just uh if i had fray check which is basically just a clear glue to be honest I would put that down there but now we're just going like these and distressing the sides a bit okay now I've got the I've got the glue gun going I haven't tied this down um, we got a bit of a zhut, but that's all right because that's what the front pocket's going to look like and that's the back pocket the spine's all grand we've got it let's see what it looks like with our signatures in our signatures i just want to just get them pushed in like that and have a look and see oh that's much better that's much better we've got all the pages inside oh that's beautiful i'm happy with that right now we're going to decorate the cover because we can at least lie it nice and flat and um i want to put something over there right now i forgot to pick these up i spent a bit of time um who was it uh g Kerr. Um, she did a tutorial on how to make these these flowers so I've done this is the sewing material I did some I've got a little bit of the blue we can put a tiny bit on there some white satin a little pink one and uh, this one I made from the ribbon but it's I don't know I don't think it goes with these little frayed goes with all our threads but and now I just want to get my frames out those are too big I think and then I got these I think this is too big this is for, um, wooden frames that I got at the range one euro fifty for a packet but if I did this one this one because this cover is actually quite big I could do this one and put all these flowers inside couldn't I I could do that or just this one this one's falling apart don't fall apart you have to get stuck that 
And then what else? I have no oh my glue brush came out the water. What else? I don't know what else to put on this cover. Got in here. In here, in this lovely box that my daughter brought me back from Spain, I have all my butterflies. But what I do have is some um, oops. Some very bright crochet pink. No. There's a little blue flower. Maybe. That's a better pink. Maybe. That's a different butterfly with no feelers. No. No. Oh, there's a pink flower. Maybe. Oh, here's a here's a beige one. Okay, maybe right here. I don't know. I'm not happy with that. These I need a bigger one. I need a bigger one. Here's um. These the off cuts from these show you how she made these flowers so now I have to try and remember so go do you go this way you bring it down like that oh no wait and then you you roll in so you've got your little bud okay come roll oh you know I found that if I did it with the tweezer it, it amazes me I've got 500 te tweezers in this house but when it comes to me wanting to use one I can't find one how is that possible and the one that I here we go right if I hold it here I can get it nice and tight get it rolled in roll roll and then you fold and now I'm probably doing it all wrong fold and roll fold and roll fold and roll okay doesn't I'm gonna keep going doesn't feel like it's going the right way but you know what if you don't tell anybody it's supposed to be a rose Nobody's going to know. Okay. Comes together in the end. In the end. And then you just tell it where it needs to go. Here we go. Does that look like a rose? I think I made this bit a bit too big. I'm just pushing back. There we go. Okay, I think I need to make more roses and just have like a stack of flowers. These are, bleh, are not so exciting. What I could, I've got some some stuff that was supposed to arrive today. I've got an email for Amazon says if your parcel hasn't arrived today you can claim for a refund tomorrow and I'm like no I want my stuff it's uh, glossy accents so I want to put it on my thin so if I put it on one of these nice flowers not this will do a nicer color and you put it on on the top of it it'll harden it so it, it'll be fine it won't be so fragile but the stuff hasn't arrived so I think this brown frame is the wrong color so let us first of all get our nice oh look we have a spongy okay okay and we just is there a right side or a wrong side to this and this isn't working on the wood it's 
very very faint okay do we have any other pink pink paints I suppose if we just if we just give it a little bit of color it won't look so it won't look so there we go there we go now we're cooking with gas okay oh oh did I break it oh I did okay put it down put it down on the mat and you just give it a bit of color okay There we go, that's a bit better. There, now it actually looks like wood grain as well. What's that? Cotton. Okay, and then, you know what I want to do? I want to... Blue one goes back on. Um, get my darker one. It is ground espresso. And if I just come it's working, let's see if we go like this. Just to like make it look like it's old. I wonder if I shouldn't oh there we go, that's working. Just give it a bit of a shadow. That's looking better. Okay, I'm happy with that. It looks a bit better. Let's do this side. Let's see if that doesn't improve it. Oh, make sure I put enough glue down now so that, that piece I broke gets fixed. That's what I love about hot glue. It fixes anything. Okay, I'm going to use hot glue because it's fabric and it's bulky and it's awkward. Right, that has more character. Well, now we put that flower. Oops, this one's come undone because we didn't glue it. So what you do is once you've done your your fold and rolls. Oops. Oopsie. You are the glue gun. Just been getting hot. And then you just put a little bit of a ish not on your finger. Oh la la, oh la la. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There we go. Right, should I just put like so, so there we go, that looks better. We're gonna need to get a word and I think I want some buttons right let me look for those and then I will come back okay folks I think I've got it sorted now made up my mind I've covered some buttons with the material of the cover let's just get this flat first of all let's stick this down just perfect is what I wanted I need to Mind the fingers, mind the fingers. The only thing with, with hot glue is that it dries so quickly you've got to not stick it down where you don't want it down. Okay, got that down. I'm just going to make sure these flowers aren't going to fall apart. Give them some extra glue. Okay, um, as you can see I'm not a glue gun professional. I'm just going to give this a whack of glue and stick him down. Oopsie. I need to make decide where I'm going to put what. Okay, we've got one of those. I think I'm going to stick all of them down because we are extra. I've got one of these because sometimes you just need that. I know in quilting you'd have that one 
color in your block that one thing that just gave it almost like a pay attention yeah something different type of feel so um, I don't know I've only got one of him put him down we've got two of these buttons and what's nice is I can stick the actual whatchamacallit in the in the frame so it it won't move and go there Yes, a smaller one of those. Um, I got these, but mm, no, no. Maybe and with these babies, I'll put one there. Um, okay, he d either he goes or he goes. There. Okay. Um, I think that one. This one this doesn't go oh you know what we have I made flowers I made flowers we could stick some flowers in here oh I forgot about these we could stick these in stick like that stick like that oh la la yes 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 I think we can do that then either we put this because we want a, a word but I think I'm gonna just go for that memories okay okay we got flowers people we got flowers I'm gonna stick these flowers down um, we can always come back and add more if we want to oopsie running out of glue here okay stick him down hubby's waiting to watch a movie so i'm just moving along moving along as quick as i can right so we need to see sticking let's get under here no he's sticking there he's sticking there sticker put in there so he doesn't decide to unravel okay i think we want a, a wee little one in there i think this one i actually put glue on it Okay, it's just, just making sure. To be sure, to be sure. Okay, am I, am I in camera, folks? Yeah. Okay, I've got my flowers there. Let me just come behind here. Bit awkward. Glue. Glue. Okay, you glued, Mr. Flower. Okay. Um... And make sure you nice. Stick you down there. You there. And you over there. Oops, no, we don't want to see the glue people. There we go. There we go. We're going to put this button over there. And this one. Him over there. And him over there. find the groove there there we go oh I was gonna put him over there to hide the the things I've got this one with the little ladies I can put him next to this because um, this is the same material oops my flower is falling apart so is my button 
goodness I can remember before they had these little machines that you you put the material into and then put the button oh, trying to do these covered buttons was torture yes sorry see those little ladies there push it down a bit there we go I like that okay let's get him down a bit there I'm gonna cut him because he's too long there we go that looks better and then these ones wasn't uh, wasn't very good at making these flowers to be honest I really like the look of them <clears throat> but I don't like making them okay we're just gonna stick this in here like that here's our cover okay you know what folks I'm gonna think on that <clears throat> I'm not sure I think I might want something that's a bit more square so I'm gonna leave it at that I'm going to stop there before I make a mistake oh wait look found another flower Let's take this long stem off here. Oh, I hope I didn't break my scissors. Hey, okay. let me stand up. Mr. Flower. Nothing you can't fix without glue. That's for sure. I'm gonna cut that off a bit more. So I can stick the flower in there. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we just have to put a book, some something in there. You shall see that when the book, when the when the journal is finished. That's all na for now, folks. Um, next we will be putting the signatures in the cover and then decorating so hopefully in a week week and a half's time this journal will be done so i hope you have a, a great weekend whenever this video gets to you whether it's the middle of the week or your weekend i hope you're living your best life cheerio folks see you soon